Hi everyone! In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use Nightingale Notes. So first off, you need to navigate to Nightingale Notes. And then, you have to enter your username and password. Now, we are going to show you how to add a new client. And I'm not going to enter anything here because I want it to be auto assigned. I'm selecting a date, which is today. Oh, sorry, which is today. And then let's say the case status is open and there's no values for office. So I'm not selecting one. Let's say I'm selecting uh, male as a gender and for date of birth, I'm selecting Let's say the guy was born in January of 2000. Um, and then his last name could be something like Steele. And then um, with an E at the end, then his first name could be something as David. Well, that's the basic information we entered. The second thing that we need to go is to the providers and programs tab and we have to say if the client has been asked or consented and is has opted in or out of the data action system i'm selecting the first option and as an employee i'm adding my name here and then i'm making myself primary i'm adding a provider let's say this guy is seeing a family practice doctor and the type is attending and then we'll say it's a clinic referral and next thing that we have to fill out is demographics so i'm just selecting random values here um, and preferred languages let's say south africa secondary languages let's say i don't know i don't even know what that is so Let's say this guy's divorced and location is clinic. Nah, I'm gonna make him married. And then housing type is let's say own and living arrangement is let's say with family and it's I don't know a random value five. Um, and I am saying his occupation is health informatics and is employed and the education level is college. With that said, let's create this. Hitting the create button will actually create that person in the system of Nightingale Note. So as you can see, here's the auto assigned ID and name of the person, date of birth. Um, so first thing that we need to do here is to go to client activities and we need to navigate to me, any client that is navigated to me, and then for David, we are going to enter his new activity right here. And then, um, so say this is today's date. Um, he came to me to do a adult wellness check and I'm not doing entering any values here. I'm just going to supplies, um, checking things here if I need to do anything. And for activities, I'm just saying high school and then I'm clicking create. Once I click the create button, two additional options are available. One is charting and the other one is vitals. I'm clicking charting and this is where you enter the problems, symptoms, interventions, rating scales and so on. So currently there's none problem, but what we can do is we can click on the edit icon and then from here we can either select pathway here or what we can do is we can click new problem and then we can click sanitation or say uh, mental health or hearing and these are the three problems that i'm selecting for now um, and then i'm hitting save so here's the sanitation details so i'm in clicking this edit button and then I'm entering some values. So the priority is high, so the severity is actual. 
um, meaning that it's actual severity. So this is high and this is low. Um, the scope is individual and I'm selecting all of the things randomly because this is going to be a hypothetical case. Um, let's say the client has no knowledge and I'm just selecting random values. You can type in things here, but for now, I'm not hitting save. Boom, there you go. Your priority, severity, individual level, sign and symptoms, knowledge. These are the rating scale, KBS, knowledge, behavior, and status. There's that. For surveillance, it's add, nursing care, and I'm hitting all of that, and I'm hitting save. All of these are there. And then I'm hitting environment, and I'm doing that, I'm hitting save. And for teaching and guidance, I'm just doing random things here and there. So one more, and then I'm doing social or counseling care, and then hitting save. And once I'm done with that, I have to move to my next problem. And then I have to do the same thing. The priority is high. It's an actual severity. The scope is individual. And I'm again clicking all of the sign and symptoms. You could you could do like random things, but I'm doing everything just for the fun of it. And then for the rating scale, I'm rating that the patient has no knowledge. The behavior is not appropriate and the situation has extreme signs and symptoms. And then hitting save. There's go. Uh, all of the list there. And then for surveillance, I'm doing the same thing. Continuity of the care. Hitting save. Specimen collection, blood. Hitting save. And then. Um, communication and then for case management what might be appropriate is continuity of care and better coordination so I'm selecting that option now once I'm done with this I will go over to vitals and then I will add in you can add in blood pressure but since that is not required for me, at least for now, I'm not selecting it. And I'm doing radial. Radial is where the thumb is, so I'm doing that. Pedal is palpable, right is palpable, respiration rate, let's say elevation is 16. Upper and lower sound are clear. And I'm not entering anything else. So I'll just hit save. There you go. You go back into charting to see if things are appropriately saved. And then I see that I forgot to enter values for my third problem, the hearing. And severity is actual, scope is individual. Selecting all of the sign and symptoms. Minimal, rarely appropriate, extreme. And it's if. That's it. So now these are red, meaning they need attention. And I need to fill in that too. Hitting save. And then again, hitting save. And So the nice thing about this is it only shows you options related with a particular problem, which is good. And um, once we have this, uh, we can download the data. I go to vitals and then I hit save. And that's it. The vitals were successfully saved. Chartings are all updated. And this is it. Thanks, guys.